Evening all and welcome to SL Sports Demo Evening. I'm sorry I couldn't make it over, I'd love to have been over and met you guys and uh, had a look at all the products now on display. However, Martin and Ashley are on hand so I'm sure they'll be able to um, answer all your questions and uh, show you around all the new uh, products that they've got on offer. One thing that I really would recommend checking out is the Recon Tripod shooting system. Very, very good bit of uh, equipment that. I've um, had one for a couple of months now and um, I use it all the time. Really, really impressed with it. Anyway, enjoy your evening and uh, enjoy the videos. So this evening I'm off out uh, after Foxy's. I'm going to get out quite early before it gets dark and um, set myself up and see what comes along at dusk. There's been quite a few Foxes about on this farm so I'm quite optimistic we'll get one or two. I'm using a different product this evening. This is uh, a night vision scope from a company that's not all that well known um, in England. It's a company called Sightmark. Um, I've tested one of their day scopes in the past and was very impressed with it so I'm quite keen to see um, what they uh, what they can offer in the way of night vision scopes That really couldn't have worked any better. I've literally been here about five, ten minutes, had a quick scan around with a the thermal, and straight away, a fox has come through the hedge, no more than about 90, 100 yards away, something like that. I'm trotting that across in front of me, I'll give it a quick, Oi! just to stop it, stop broadside. I uh, shot it, first I thought I missed it because it didn't show any reaction to the shot, ran about 15, 20 yards, and then cartwheeled over, uh, and it's dead in the grass down there. So, um, it's a great start to the evening. It's a pretty quiet night tonight. Doesn't help because it's moonlit. It's still uh, fairly light. So uh, I think um, everything's out and about. You can see it's moving around in the field. Might give the caller a go in a minute. The Fox Pro out, see if we can pull something in. Here we go. Got one coming down the field here. Here we go, he's coming across. Oi! Oh. Alright. Oh, 
down and uh, have a look. It's a good sized fox, that. A vixen, too. Nice looking fox. Healthy looking little vixen that. That's good going. Two vixens down. Excellent. Alright, so it looks in finding more. Here we go, that's a fox coming through the hedge. Yeah, I can see him, he's just mooching around out there. Once he gets through that hedge, I'll we'll take him the side of it if he comes, if he comes through and presents a shot. Yeah, not from that. Good. Just in time as well. It's just starting to rain.
I'm uh, heading out this evening after a fox. Um, this particular fox is taking some chickens from uh, the back of some houses. These, uh, these few houses are all in a, in a row. Um, they're back on some fields and uh, fox has come in and over three days has taken 30 chickens. So um, I've been down there once already and uh, I've taken out three foxes down there but there's still a few more about. So I'm just going to pop down there and see if I can clear them up. I've also got with me this evening the Thermion Rifle Scope from Pulsar. This is their latest offering, um, very good scope. Uh, Scott Country just sent it down for me to test. So what I'm going to do is nip up to the farm first, zero that and then uh, head out and uh, see if I can um, clear up the last few foxes down that bit of ground. Okay, so this is the Thermion rifle scope, it's a thermal scope. First thing that is quite apparent is um, it actually looks quite a lot like a, a standard day scope. I think that looks really nice on the rifle, far better than the old um, trails and that which are a bit more boxy. This is a much nicer looking scope. Uh, it's very straightforward to use. All your main controls are here on the eyepiece. You've got your power on off, you've got your zoom for your magnification, you've got your recording for your inbuilt video. Your menu settings are accessed via this button and then you scroll back and forth through your options. So mounting the scopes to the rifles very straightforward, it's just a standard 30 mil scope mount. In this case we're using sports match mounts. Um, I rather like them, I always use those on my rifles. Um, focusing is done on the eyepiece, just like on some day scopes. So that's a very quick rundown of the scope itself. Let's go and zero it. Right, so I've got a box there on a nice backstop, big pile of chalk and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a hand warmer as an aiming point just take that up a bit smaller there There we go. Right, we'll start off at 50 yards and see how that goes. You can actually see where that bullet has impacted the heat from that on the cardboard box. I can actually see that through the scope. It's pretty impressive. So I'm a bit high, probably, probably about two inches high and about half an inch to the left.
Okay, that looked pretty close, so I'm going to have a look. Well, that really is a one shot zero. That's the first shot. As you can see, there's a second shot there, which is just slightly, slightly to the right, perhaps, but that's on the uh, on the money. So I'm going to take it back to 100 yards and have another go. Okay, we're about 100 metres away, so we'll give another go. Shouldn't be too far off. Okay, so that's the Thermion Zero on the 223. Uh, it took me a few shots more than I was expecting because um, I couldn't quite figure out where my shots were going. It wasn't until I went down and had a closer look that I found that I put all the shots straight through the same hole, or pretty much through the same hole on the uh, heat pad. So um, that's uh, that's nicely zeroed. So uh, off out to see if we can find the fox. These are excellent bits of kit, these thermal spotters. They just save so much time. You can just quickly scan around the field and see if there's anything in it. See if there's anything that's worth walking out to. And this field looks pretty clear. These are the gardens that the uh, fox has been raiding, so um, I think we've set the cooler out in the field just behind here. Going for the baby rabbit distress for this one. It's usually a good one. Well, there's our fox. Good sized dog fox. Excellent. Nice chest shot. Good job. He was 110 yards. And the other one was a bit further over. So I'll have a wander over. See if I can find that one.
the dog box. That should have been a headshot. Yep. That was quite a range that one. I was over the back there by the trees just to a range finder and give that a quick ping. I'm just about to make out silhouette of the trees. I stood just there. That is 215 yards, bang on. Well, I'm really pleased with that. That's two foxes down. Um, thermal scope performed really well. For thermal scope to be able to head shoot um, a fox at over 200 yards, that's uh, that's pretty precise. And again, the uh, recon tripods proved itself excellent bit of kit. That I use it all the time now for my fox sim. Um, it's a great bit of kit as well that you can uh, set your rifle up on there and uh, lock it in, like so. And that'll just sit there while you uh, while you scan with your thermal or cool, whichever, and it's right there ready for you when you need it. So that first fox that coming from the left of me, and uh, he came running around out of the field in front of me, straight towards the cooler. I turned the cooler off and uh, I think he lost interest and started walking towards the wood and that's when I managed to get him to stop and just knock him over. Uh, the other one, that was already coming in, I saw that one first and uh, he came in and then he backed away after I shot the first one and he went further down the field and he just laid up and just curled up, laid up in the grass or just in the uh, little tufts of grass on the um, plough there. and. Uh, just give him a squeak a couple of times, try to call her and that. He kept popping his head up, but he wouldn't get up and he wouldn't come any closer. And because it's a moonlit, I didn't have a chance of getting out to it. So uh, let's just take a shot where it was. So that's a good night. So uh, I'll take these two and uh, clear off home to bed.